G'day folks, Rod from My Water Filter here today. And what we're gonna do is have a quick look at changing the cartridges in the Dalton Ultra Carb Twin Benchtop Water Filter with Sediment Protection. Okay, so you'll know that uh, generally I like to uh, put a bit of a mat or something down on the sink, on the work area where we're gonna, where we're gonna work. And that's just to uh, make it a little quieter and just give you something to work off there, okay? Here's our two cartridges that have already arrived and uh, what we've done is what we'd like everybody to do when they get a product from my water filter is to open the product as soon as you can. Even if you're not going to use it straight away, just open it up and especially ceramic cartridges are vitally important, okay? The quality of the water that you drink is all about this cartridge and the condition it arrives in. So when this cartridge arrives to your home, we want to inspect the ceramic. So what we're doing is we're casting our eyes up and down the cartridge. And we're just having a look and making sure that there's no cracks in it. They do stand out and you will be able to see if it's cracked. This one's fine, nice ends on it. Two good washers on each end. So we're good to go. We're happy with that. And uh, we can now proceed with installing the water filter cartridge, okay? And here's our sediment cartridge. They're quite strong and robust, so I would never expect too much damage on one of those. So we're good to go there too. Okay, so here's the water filter. We've been using it for over 12 months now, and we want to change the cartridges, okay? Water's turned off, water stopped flowing out of it. So what we're just gonna do is just lay it over on its side to start, okay? We've got the housing tool. It's got close and open on it, and they actually go down over the top of the housing. It's just normal Australian thread, so we're going to turn it to the right to make it go tight. Today we're going to undo it, so we're going to turn it anti-clockwise, looking down on the top of the system, okay? Normally if you put these on, the uh, seal will break quite easily. Obviously depends on how tight you tightened it the year before. So just be aware that you don't have to swing off the cartridge tool and it doesn't have to be super super tight just nipped up nice and tight to seal the rubber on the face okay so once we've done the loosen those off they'll now unspin very easily okay we'll start simply here with the cartridge in housing number one and this is our pre-filter our sediment cartridge okay we'll take that one out lay them in the sink there's our nice new light one put them into place the center cores at both ends, there's no up and down on a polyspun sediment cartridge, they can go in any way. And they just sit inside the housing and then the housing will go down over the top. Screw him on. Don't know why turn him over, push it, then turn him over. and tighten him up tight as you can by hand okay then we get there on the second one now with this one this is the Dalton ultra carb cartridge so you've got to be vitally careful that we don't knock it over okay we don't want to drop this cartridge we treat it like an egg whether it's new or used okay so let's take the old one out there we've got our new one here We've already inspected this cartridge and it's all good to go. Now there's only one hole in the end of the Dalton cartridge, okay? So this hole here has got to go down into the head, all right? The water's going to penetrate through the side of the cartridge to the center core. Then we want it to come out of the bottom of the hole, go into the head, flow up and come out of the spout. If this was an under sink model, cartridge is up the other way. This way up goes up. On the bench top, the hole goes down into the head, okay? So get him there, just hold him in place while you're putting the housing over. We just don't want to knock it over and bang it, all right? So we just get him there nice and gentle, screw the housing on. Nip him up, tight as we can by hand. Generally lay them over on their side, put the housing tool back over. And just a little bit of a turn to nip it up tight, okay? We've got to get this off next year, so we don't want to do it too tight, okay? Just nip him up. If you put it together and you've got a little bit of water leaking out the bottom, okay, tighten it up a bit more, but you're pretty good to go. Just gently, gently like that, okay? Now, 
Once we've got the cartridges in and they're all installed, ready to go, now we wanna give them a flush. Same way that we flushed them when they were brand new, okay? The carbon, uh, the uh, sediment cartridge here in the pre-filter, the sediment cartridge here in position one, that cartridge there hasn't got too much in it. There's no carbon in it or anything like that. So there's no need to remove the second cartridge here. If we had a fluoride cartridge or an alkalizer or some other specialty cartridge in this system, then we would remove the second cartridge while we flush the first one. But today, put both cartridges in, pre-filter, it's got nothing in it, and we're gonna flush them. So a good five minute flush for both these cartridges. When you first turn the water on, there is carbon inside this Dalton Ultra Carb cartridge. So as soon as the water turns on, you're gonna to expect to see a lot of dirty black water comes out, all right? It's only the coconut carbon. It's totally harmless, but it can be quite black at times. So maybe have a bucket here, gather that carbon. It'll only take five or 10 seconds to come out. Tip it on the pot plant and keep the water flowing. Flow it for five minutes. Save the water for the plants if you like. But the aim here is to flush the cartridge. Every cartridge needs flushing, doesn't matter where it comes from. Five minutes, give it a good flush. Next 12 hours, overnight, the carbon in this cartridge will activate. And that means that the next morning you can just turn it on and just give it a quick three minute flush and away you go. You'll be good to go for 12 months then and you'll get good quality, nice drinking water out of your water filter, okay? So simple as it is, quite simple. Uh, dispose of the old cartridges correctly into the waste and you're good to go. Any dramas, anything you need to know, just give us a call. Have a great day.